Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. So we're doing the Seasons Prestige Cup with the Varus M4 GTS. All right, so we're on race number 19, which is a speed trap. So let's figure out what time the speed trap is. So you guys get an idea of what you have to beat. And I'll tell you what, I'm not very good at shifting this car. It, it's a little weird. The timing on this car is a little strange. It's easy to shift, but a little weird. Anyways, that guy ran a 4.105, so that was extremely easy. Now, as long as you have a decent amount of parts put into your car, and you have it tuned right, and you're using the right shift pattern and all that good stuff, this one shouldn't be too hard, I don't think. But we'll find out as the, th the thing goes on. We'll see what the final time is, and we'll see what the sprint race, the speed traps, all that good stuff. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, and ninth is fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. This car is really slow. I mean, that's the main drawback, though, is this is a very slow car for tier four. It's not a bad car, though. It's just a little slow. Slow doesn't always mean bad because, you know, different cars are good at different things. Currently, I'm running a 12.0. We got 30,000 game cash. You know what? 12.0, that's not bad. This might be something I could even use on my live streams to do some live racing. 12.0 cars are always good. Most people can tune a car to around 12.0. Car looks really cool. Here we go. I hit nitrous on the wrong gear. You want to hit nitrous on third, guys. Pretty much, I mean, all good shifts and nitrous on third. If you can make the needle go below a perfect shift and into the orange, that's a good thing on this car. So I think the like fourth, fifth, sixth, you all want to shift in the orange and not the perfect shift. This car is a little weird though. It's not bad, it's just a little weird. I like it. Like overall, it's a pretty nice car, guys. Pretty nice car indeed, to tell you the truth. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go, second, third. Oh, I really screwed that up. Man, that was some of the worst ships I've ever seen. So right now we gotta beat 160 miles per hour. All right, so we got the speed trap here, 160 miles per hour for race number 23. My car hit 190, not too bad. All right, here comes race, maybe that was 22, I don't know. Here comes 23. That was race 22. I think there's going to be another speed trap before we finish this thing. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's do it, do it, to it. All right. Three, two, one, go. Second, third. And I don't know why I keep screwing this car up, but for me, it's very hard to shift this thing right. It's such a simple shift pattern, too. I just can't get this one right. It's a little strange. I know what this thing is up here on top of this building. What is that? It looks like some sort of like alien spaceship. They're here, guys. They've landed. Everybody run. Get in your cars and drive away. Aliens on the roof. I don't know what that looks like, but it's 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 weird. Whatever it is. Alright, I gotta beat this Griffith. All right, Mr. Griffith, let's go. Second, third, nitrous, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. It is a really strange car, guys. Really strange car. All right, next one, next one. This is one of those things where if you drive it enough, you'll get the timing on the shift pattern down correctly. If you don't drive it that much, you're probably going to have a hard time with it. That's the one thing. Some cars where the timing is just a little bit strange, it takes it takes quite a bit of practice to really get it right. But what, what it seems like is each gear, like usually it's pretty even, like shift, shift, shift. This one's more like shift, 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 shift. It's not like, it's not like an even, like one, two. It's more like a one, two, three, four, one, two. You know what I mean? The timing is weird. I don't, I don't know how else to explain that. Some gears shift quicker than others, I think. 
I could be wrong, but that's just what it feels like on this guy. Like, I think the first gear or two is a little bit faster, and then the third gear takes a little longer. I really don't, don't know how else to explain it. It's just a weird car. All right, here comes race number 26. Race number 26. 26. Let's go, let's go. All right. Yeah. The other day I made a video on how to drive this car and gave you guys some tuning advice and all that good stuff. So make sure you guys check that one out. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, if you're having trouble with this car, make sure you check that one out. I know a lot of people are going to be like, what's your tune? But the thing is, your tune changes when you change parts. For example, I just added one stage six to this car before I started this. My tires moved to a different spot. My transmission moved to a different spot. So adding the stage six or two or three or four plus even just changing a couple fusion parts. I'm telling you right now, you got to tune the car differently every time you add or change parts. So you can't just copy people's tunes. If you do, it's probably going to be a terrible tune for your car. More than likely, it's going to be awful, to tell you the truth. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Go, little car, go, little car, go. All right. We did it. We did it. Yeah, we're definitely running 12.0s. That's actually a pretty nice time for a tier four. One thing I noticed, this is really weird, but in the live racing lobbies, on a tier four car, if you can get it to around a 12.0, that seems like a sweet spot. Like tier four cars, almost every tier four car I've ever had that was at a 12.0 ran amazingly well. It's a very strange thing how the 12.0 phenomena, that's what I'm gonna call it, on tier four. So I have a feeling this is going to win a lot of live races. All right, here we go. See, I'm starting to get a little better at shifting this thing. This takes a lot of practice. All right, there we got a 12.017, it looks like. 12.017. Oh, 12.025. All right, guys comes race number 29 we're almost there we're almost there what do you want to bet that was a duplicate stage six part that it just gave me when i go out and i go back to the map or back to my garage i should say i can almost guarantee you i'm not going to be able to add that part in because i probably already have it i don't know what the deal is but this game loves to give out duplicate parts that's one thing i really wish they would change like if you if you're missing a certain stage six or a couple of them it should not give you a duplicate i mean there's times where i've only had one stage six for for a car and then it, bam a duplicate bam a duplicate next thing you know i got four of the same stage six part and none of the others that's ridiculous that should never happen that should never happen i kind of i kind of feel like maybe they do that on purpose i don't know but here we go guys this is race number 30 this is going to be the final time just remember it varies a little bit from person to person but whatever time i see here is pretty close to what you guys should see i got we got lucia i wonder if i said that right lucia lucia don't know but she's going down all right here we go prepare to die or at least lose the race, I guess. I mean, I don't know why I would say prepare to die. These things don't die when they go across the finish line. That ran ridiculously slow. She ran a 13.662. There's always one really slow car, and I have a feeling I just got the slow car. Let's go race number race number 31 and get an idea for you know what time 31 runs but I have a I have a feeling I just got the slow one okay 
Now, if you get stuck, all right, if you get stuck on the last race, if you go back to your garage like this, go back out to the map, and if you notice, I don't think there was a stage part six part there for me. And you go back to, where the heck is it? The Prestige Cup. You'll get a different car every time you do that. You have to go back to the garage and then back to the Prestige Cup. And you will get a different car that runs a different time. And every once in a while, you'll run into that super slow car that's very easy to beat. All right, so now I got to race David. Now I got to race David. So come on, David. Always make sure you race number 31 to get yourself up on the leaderboards because you'll get a couple extra prizes and stuff when you do. It's a very good thing. And I hit Nitrous on the wrong gear. But anyway, so far for me, this was a very easy prestige cup. But I do have a lot of stage six parts. I've been playing for a long time. This is not a new car. It's been out for a while. All right, this car has been out for a while. And I've been accumulating parts for this car for quite some time. All right, the game always throws you random parts for this, random parts for that, randoms for this. And I think this was a milestone prize car one season. So we would have got a couple stage six parts along with it for that. Plus any of the other stuff. Yep. It did not give me the uh, it did not give me a stage six that I could use. So unfortunately, the duplicate stage sixes strike again. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will catch you all later. All right, thanks for watching. Please remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you like this content, and smash that little bell and set it to all. That way, you don't miss any good notifications when I upload new stuff. You don't want to miss all the good stuff, do you? No, I didn't think so. All right. <laughs> all right. See you guys.